Hello, this is the Daily Encouragement Message we've prepared on another beautiful Tuesday, October 29th, 2024. We are Stephen and Brooksine Weber. Each weekday, our goal is to encourage and provide Bible teaching in these messages. And today we title the message, based upon the main themes of the text, Approved, Unashamed, Correctly Handled. As soon as Brookstein reads the text today from 2 Timothy 2, verse 15. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. An old song by A.B. Simpson, and I'm not sure I actually recall singing it, but Mm-mm. I found it online that Fits today's message says, I want among the victor throng someday to have my name confessed and hear my master say, at last, you stand approved. You did your best. Mm-hmm. Now, once again, remember the first part of the version, uh, verse, do your best to present yourself to God as one approved. Today's text is a scripture that ministers often memorize, especially due to the King James translation, which begins with study. It gets to the very heart of ministry, but it's applicable to all who want to live for God. I find it helpful to slightly modify the pronouns in this verse to make it very personal. And I will show you what I mean. I will seek to do my best to present myself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed who correctly handles the word of truth. This verse is from a portion of scripture written by Paul, known as the pastoral epistles, along with 1 Timothy and Titus. Well, some may see this as an excuse for not personally applying this verse by reasoning, quote, I'm not a pastor, so this doesn't apply to me. However, I, we believe each of us are to seek after God's highest standards for our lives. These words apply to every Christian worker, godly parent, Bible teacher, youth worker, Bible student, to all who teach and seek to live by the tenets of Scripture. What a powerful commission this verse is for each one of us. The King James Version, which many of our listeners are familiar with, particularly in regard to the oft-quoted passages, uses study in this verse, and I quote the King James, Study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, end quote. Apparently the translators are using the context to assist in the meaning of the word, and it certainly includes study. But we have here the Greek word spadazo which has the sense of being diligent. Are you diligent in your study and in all your work for Christ and all that relates to his kingdom? We are all called to be ambassadors for Christ. That's that great theme from 2 Corinthians 5, verse 20. May these three characteristics be true for each of us. That we are approved by God, that we are not ashamed, and that we correctly handle the word of truth, of course, being the Bible. Join us in prayer. And this prayer really is all-encompassing of many ministries that I am praying for today. And I I believe that it will uh, be your prayer as well. Father, there is no higher calling in our life's journey than to be an ambassador for Christ. When we lovingly cradle infants in the church nursery, or teach youngsters Bible stories and spiritual truths, whether we provide spiritual guidance to teens during their often tumultuous years, when we lead support groups, or whatever setting in which we seek to spread the gospel message, we long for your approval and blessing. We're tempted to listen to popular teachers, authors, and spiritual fads of the day, and align our teaching and standards in accordance to their influence, but help us to ever be wary of those who stray from the written word. Above all and in all, we desire your approval that comes from our own in-depth study of the scriptures and that which the Holy Spirit speaks to us about, rightly dividing the word of truth in balance of the entirety of scripture. 
We pray especially for pastors of our church, for professors at Christian colleges, seminaries, and universities, and for principals and teachers of our Christian schools, that they would resist the temptation to be popular, politically correct, or academically acceptable, but rather embrace the desire to be approved by you, our master teacher, by correctly handling the word of truth. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brooksy. <coughs> a little longer prayer today. We do have a link to an online commentary if you care to learn more about this verse. A couple of songs, real old timer called I Am Resolved by a bluegrass group we enjoyed for many years called Daily and Vincent. And then one called May the Mind of Christ My Savior, which I assume is a hymn. But a uh, mm -hmm. very nice arrangement of it, if you care to look. We want to make a note to our listeners today. This morning, we're heading out for bike rides on two of our favorite rail trails. It's the Tara Creek Trail this afternoon and the Buffalo Valley Rail Trail tomorrow in north central Pennsylvania. Thus, we do not expect to post a message tomorrow on Wednesday, October 30th. Thank you again for joining us for our message Tuesday, October 29th, 2024. Our website is dailyencouragement.net. And today's message, approved, unashamed, correctly handling.